Hey everybody, God bless you. I hope you're all doing very, very well. I want to give you guys an update on Alan Perot and the story that broke back in 2020. Um, it's been going viral and a lot of people have brought it to my attention asking for an update. I wanna give you one and it's really good news, literally. So I wanna tell you this, number one, Alan is safe. He's perfectly safe where he's at, everything's good. I have a dear friend of mine who is a, used to be a Navy intelligence analyzer. He was working in Navy Intel. And he has been looking through a lot of the things that Alan has in his possession. He said, Anna, it's a lot. They're going through it, him and the team are going through it, and it's all real. There's more to come. I hate saying that because just wait, there's more, just wait. I hate saying just wait, but there's some things that Alan is dealing with in his personal life, so he's not able to deal with, you know, with more inf here, but to be honest with you, it's okay because there's so much that we have to get through. So, so, so much. I will tell you this, one of the plans is to have a Senate hearing. When you have things on audio, on video, when you have documents, when you have their own voices, recorded because Alan was very meticulous and you guys know some of the clips because it's out there in the universe I'm surprised I'm like still even on some social media but anyway most of them kicked me off but um, there's a lot it's amazing and uh, I'm probably actually going to do a show with my friend in his studio they're actually building a studio right now to talk about everything and break things down, connect things together. And I wanna say this too, because it kind of got sidetracked with some questions of, you know, you know, with Osama bin Laden. You know, where was he, is it, was it really a double? Was it not a double? Here's the thing, we don't have hardcore facts about it. So in retrospect, we should not really have touched that part unless you have concrete facts. We gotta go with facts. We gotta go with audio. We gotta go with video. We gotta go with, we have, you know, Edinger on there, you have Joe Biden's attorney on there saying that they knew where Osama was and that they were concealing it from the American public. And um, when they were telling the American people absolutely disinformation, they were lying to the American people. So that's really the story. That's really how you get hearings. When you have things on audio, you have documents, you have videos, okay? Now we kind of got sidetracked and we got attacked by, by the media and whatever. Obviously the fake news is gonna attack, I'm not surprised. And obviously some of the seals that, that, that say they saw Osama, that, that's great. You know, he might, he might've been the real guy. So we don't really know exactly what happened with the death. Obviously there's seals that saw and believe it was a real guy, whether it was a real guy or a decoy, I, I, I it, we should not have touched that because that's all conjecture and kind of conspiracy, but it, it could obviously be that, hey, listen, it was a decoy, but really we should not touch that. We should talk about the real evidence because we have a real smoking gun and there is a lot more of that that is going to be released. And it's been a while, and there was some miscommunication in the background with some things and timelines of releases, so I wanna apologize for that. I mean, I kind of became the face of the story and I never intended to at all. It kind of fell in my lap. This was all never planned. Um, there were some sidetracks with, you know, we. I don't wanna, Alan didn't really wanna release any more um, to, to journalists, he wanted to go like right to the president and um, you're not gonna have a face-to-face -face with President Trump. You're not, because you were from Iran. I mean, the, the enemy, the deep state set up his son with, uh, you know, the, the, the Russian spy. You know, you, you're not gonna have access. And so there was a bit of miscommunication, misdirection, misguidance, but thankfully I have friends that visit often over there and go through everything. That's the plan. I mean, there's actually honestly so much. I don't know if they're gonna get through everything, I should say that. There's there's, there's a lot. And there is more coming. There are people involved who know what they're talking about and looking at this as well. So our goal, what we wanna see is hearings. We wanna see committee hearings. We wanna see the American public be told the truth and it, Hopefully more evidence comes out even on the whole actual event with Osama, but that's not the point. The point is our government knew where Osama bin Laden was hidden, which was in Iran, and they didn't tell the American people. They hid that fact. You have 
them on audio saying that. That is enough for a hearing and for more information. So this can be something that knocks down the house of cards. Um, this has been covered up, you know, Bush, Bush administration, Obama administration. So I wanna tell you seriously, there's a lot that's going to be coming out. And my Navy intelligence friend who has been looking through all this info, he, it's been many months, he's been going through it piece by piece, audio by audio, documents. I mean, he knows how to read documents. So he's blown away um, at all of the evidence and also how, you know, the government, you know, Alan's a real deal. If you've seen, you know, Feather Cocaine, he is the real deal. The government knows exactly who he is. It's actually shocking and surprising he's still alive. But um, Alan is not some broke guy in the middle of nowhere. He's very safe where he is, very secure where he is, and I'm just going to say that. But there's a lot more info that my buddies have to go through. And once we have a decent amount of info that I think can lead to a hearing, we will have a show, probably a live show, and go through it. There's so much, you guys. There is so much. So it's actually really cool that it's going viral. Um, I know it's been two years. It's just sometimes, you know, with the whole election thing, 2020, that also, everything got sidetracked. Or the whole focus, I mean, my, my buddies were all helping with the um, audits and, and, and lawsuits with all the states. So there was a hold on the investigation and I should say the, um, the data compiling of what Alan Perot has in his possession. And um, there's so much I cannot say, so I'm really careful with what I'm saying. But they have had a lot of time in the recent past to go through the stuff. There's a lot more. You guys, this is a really exciting year. It's a really, really, really exciting time. I know it looks bleak in the country, but there's a lot more. And there are active, amazing patriots that are involved in this. And it goes pretty high up. That's all I'm going to say. Be blessed. Pray for Alan. He's a great guy. He really is. He's awesome. And um, hopefully within the next six months, we'll actually have Alan on the, sh on the channel. Uh, not on YouTube, but somewhere else. We're going to have an interview probably on Rumble. You can go on Anna Kate at Rumble. I upload videos there too. So there will be more info coming out. Keep us in prayer. No, I mean, I'm not really doing much besides just giving you guys updates. Those guys are doing the, the, the hardcore stuff. So glory be to God. See you guys soon.